So the system works like this. The MindFlex is sending out signals, packets of information. The Arduino is taking those packets of information, attention, meditation, and sinusoidal waves of um, brainwaves, alpha, beta, theta, different frequencies. We're focusing in on just the attention level that um, the MindFlex is actually extrapolating from the voltages of neurons. And then from there, the Arduino is sending out signals. They're actually telling it at different levels of concentration how to bring up the lights. Red is low, the yellowish orange is uh, medium, and green is high concentration. So if I concentrate really hard on a single point, I should be able to bring it up. The problem also is that even if I'm not concentrating or I am concentrating, there's a high degree of noise this makes this very difficult to do. There we go. And then the idea is that if I relax, I should be able to bring it down. Try to think about anything. So those signals are telling us what kind of signals, how high they're getting. From there, we have one signal being fed over to the microcontroller. The microcontroller, when the signal is high enough, so it's sending a signal off where this last yellowish orange light is. If I can bring it up there, this starts changing states. The changing of states is actually changing, telling the robot when it's turned on how it wants to be controlled. So I bring it high enough, it starts changing lights over here, and then if I relax, it'll bring it back down, it'll maintain that state until the next time I try to change states before I bring it too high, <laughs> high enough. So, if, let's reset this back, if I turn on the robot and concentrate, I can control it. The only problem with the system is that in order to actually be able to bring those levels up and down, it's very difficult. <laughs> Other projects for the MindFlex hack have actually been uh, someone hooked up so that it sent out shock signaling when it actually had the headset on. In that sense, they were trying to keep their concentration very low, and every single person in, the, in that project of another group, not us, <laughs> actually got shocked. We're just trying to actually be able to use this in order to prove that we can change states and be able to control something. Now, we're assuming that the reason why we're having such difficulty is partly because this guy is not very um, very uh, practical. It's a game gaming device. The idea is that you'll be able to try to concentrate as hard as you can and show that you can move a ball around. Here, we're actually trying to control something, so we're trying to actually use more outputs for a practical purpose. And it's highly difficult. I can play a game of trying to raise and lower the lights, but that's not the same as trying to move a robot forward and stop it. There's also the degree of how much practice we've had with it. We've had very little exposure with it. More of it's actually been trying to get this system to work out. So we're in theory, we might be able to actually have more control over it with more experience with the actual system now that we've actually completed it. So an idea to expand this would be to get rid of all these wires by doing wireless communication and be able to set the robot in within a maze and see how well we can control the robot to move through that maze and then compete on times to actually get robot from point A to point B. So our project's successful for the first iteration, the rough draft, and hopefully we can bring it a step further. Thank you.